this afternoon with breaking news and only Cairo 7 was in the air for a police chase that ended in a police takedown. On the left side of your screen here, you see Bellevue. This is where it all started. Then we know the suspect in that black SUV you see in the middle of your screen, screen weaved in and out of traffic through the Renton area right by the VMAC and then into South Seattle. That's where eventually it came to an end in that area with an attempted carjacking of that silver minivan you see right there. Kyra Simmons, Graham Johnson is live where it ended and Grammy spoke to a witness who watched some of this scene play out. It was incredible to watch this from the newsroom. Wow, it was incredible. And I want to show you this, uh, Michelle, because check this out. This is the vehicle. I'm just feet away. This was at the center of all of it. And I want to give you a look here before this tow truck uh, takes it away. Pay special attention, if you will, to that back rear tire. It is totally blown out. Witnesses told me it was smoking. This vehicle was going so fast. Now, this is where this high speed chase ended. I want to show you some video from Chopper 7 of that chase underway. It started in Bellevue, it went through Renton and through South Seattle. Chopper 7 caught up with the car as it was just flying down the street with police in hot pursuit. We saw the driver nearly hit uh, several other vehicles before he wound up where I am standing here at Rainier and 23rd. And I want to show you that video Michelle showed you a few moments ago. It is worth seeing again. It is how this all ended. The driver stopped, possibly because his car broke down, witnesses told me. And then he jumped out and he saw a minivan right across the way. He yanked open the door and tried to carjack the driver. Police, though, moved in immediately immediately and took him down. Police tell me no shots were fired. This was a peaceful arrest. We've been talking with witnesses all along this pursuit chase, including uh, this pursuit route, including a woman who saw this car just go flying by on Rainier Avenue. We just seen that Cherokee flying around the little bin, going like a hunter because his tires were burning. And his tires were burning. His tires were smoking. They were burning. He was going so fast. As fast as he was going, I was worried someone got hurt because that was, I've never seen nobody try that fast. And back live now, we've got some details from Bellevue police about just how this all unfolded. They say this started with a domestic violence call in Bellevue, and they tell me the suspect who was driving this vehicle you're looking at live apparently tried to drive or did actually drive this car right into a building, which might be why we're seeing that front end damage there, unless that was, uh, you know, happened potentially along the pursuit line. We don't know. But apparently he drove it right into a building trying to get to a victim inside a woman. Now he took off. Police were able to find him nearby and then they started pursuing him. And the reason they pursued him, they say, is that he was wanted on a felony warrant. We believe that is from King County. And Bellevue police tell me the reason for that warrant was serious enough that they decided to pursue him because that is a decision that police departments do not take lightly because, of course, it is very dangerous to be chasing a suspect down busy streets. So Bellevue police tell us it was worth it in this case. Now, they did not reveal to us the reason for that warrant, and I've been on the phone just a few minutes ago with the King County Sheriff's Office. Uh, they are researching that now. We're hoping to get some answers about exactly what this guy was wanted for. So that is one of the things we are going to be piecing together as this afternoon goes on for our continuing coverage at 5 o'clock. Live for now in the Rainier Valley, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.